we are in Acts 15, uh, verse 2. After, and after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, uh, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem uh, to the apostles and elders about this question. The first response was to persuade. We can imagine there was no small dissension. The dispute was, uh, was indeed a large one. Uh, these two who saw God work so powerfully through the Gentiles would not abandon the work easily. In this, Paul and Barnabas showed the hearts of true shepherds to confront and dispute those who insisted on false doctrine. The first century church dealt with issues by debating scripture. Um, so often in this day and age we see we compromise it. So being sent on their way by the church they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles brought great joy to all the brothers. Paul and Barnabas passed through Phoenicia, that's Acts 11, uh, 9, the church, Antioch, came out of that particular movement. Samaria, Acts 8, 5, the church at Samaria, and uh, they looked for more support for what was going on. The issue was not Gentile conversions, it was a doctrinal issue as to whether one should become a Jew first before becoming a Christian. We must keep the council's decision in mind when we look at, at the Christians who want to keep going back to the Ten Commandments or renewing animal sacrifice. <laughs> uh, I think it's crazy. We have people, actually people in church today looking for a time when they'll renew animal sacrifice. Hebrews 10, 11 says, And every priest stands daily in his, at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices which can never take away sins but when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins he sat down at the right hand of God waiting for that time uh, until his enemy shall be made his footstool for by a single offering he perfected for all time those who are being sanctified and the Holy Spirit bears witness to us for saying this is the covenant I will make with them after those days to clear the law of the Lord. I will put the, my laws in their hearts and write them in their minds. Then he adds, I will remember their sins and lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer an offering for sin. The council of Jerusalem had to deal with this issue of the final covenant. Will God have another one? Some, even today, think there is. I'm sorry. Jesus' blood paid it all.